Hello everybody and welcome to another top 5 list here on the channel. I hope everybody's having an absolutely wonderful day. Today we're going to be looking at something that I think is really important for this channel um, because I feel like a lot of our top 5 lists and a lot of my videos in general tend to be kind of like sort of like min-max objective looks at Fire Emblem characters and utility and stuff. And I don't really want my channel to be just all sort of dry content about who's good in what game. Because let's face it, the important, the most important thing about Fire Emblem and the most important thing about playing a video game in general that you love is having fun. Um, so today we're going to be looking at the top five most fun characters to use in Fire Emblem 6. Now, obviously this list is extremely objective. These are the top five characters with two honorable mentions that I think are the most fun. Uh, in Fire Emblem 6 for various reasons. Your top five list might be extremely different and that's perfectly fine. Um, as always, feel free to disagree with me. Uh, please put who you find fun uh, in the comments. I'd love to hear sort of what other people find uh, fun about using different characters and stuff like that. But yeah, without further ado, we'll get right into, as I said, two honorable mentions and then my top five most fun characters to use in Fire Emblem 6. All right, so starting off, uh, my first honorable mention, as you can see on the screen, is Merlinus. Now, <laughs> Obviously, Merlinus is a bit of a meme pick, considering he's basically just your traveling convoy. Uh, but I have him on this list for one reason, and that is because he can die on every single chapter, and he just keeps coming back. Um, and I don't know, to me, I just find that really fun to use. Uh, you can get a lot of utility out of a character that just infinitely dies. Um, in this game, unfortunately, you can't have access to your convoy just by like being near your lord. So he's actually pretty useful and um, and fun for those purposes as well. You can do a lot of like shopping with him, but mostly he's here. I know a bit of a meme, but just because he could die infinitely and he just keeps coming back. And, and I don't know, I find that really fun. Not fun enough, I think, to be in my top five list. I don't use him that much. Um, but it's pretty rare that you get a character that can just infinitely tie in Fire Emblem. So I, I find it pretty fun for, for that reason, mostly. All right, and my next honorable mention, uh, I have Fur. So Fur is a really fun character to use, uh, in my opinion, mostly because I think Swordmasters are just really cool and a lot of fun to use. I also like that she gets extremely high hard mode bonuses, um, which just makes her pretty useful from the get-go. It's not like super difficult or like tedious to train her or anything, which means that you get her to be a Swordmaster pretty quickly. Um, and she's just a cool Swordmaster. It's cool to have, I guess, a, a female Swordmaster um, as opposed to a lot of the other Swordmasters in the GBA games. Uh, I don't have her in my top five list because I think she overlaps with another character in the game, unfortunately for her, um, who is also a Swordmaster and I think slightly more fun to use because he's so dominant. Um, so we'll get to him. You probably know who I'm alluding to, but I still think that Fur deserves an honorable mention. Um, I think she's a lot of fun to use. You could even make the argument that she's more fun than the other Myrmidon uh, in the game, despite being quite a bit worse. Uh, but yeah, I, I found her... I guess to be not quite as fun as him but still an extremely fun character to use and very easy to use which is important because she's not uh frustrating all right and starting off our actual list at number five i have melody um so it is kind of weird to see melody at number five as opposed to like one or two which she is in uh most fire emblem six lists but i have her at number five um mostly because i think her fun just stum stems from like just how busted she is and while i do think that's really fun to use i think there's some other units in the game that are a little bit more um unique i guess although Millie's domination in the game is very unique it's the same reason that like if i did a radiant dawn tier list or sorry not tier list uh, see I'm, I'm catching myself even now i'm saying tier list like a fun to use list um har would probably be on there because it's just fun to have a character that absolutely dominates the game um Melody has just absolutely ridiculous bases. Uh, she promotes very quickly. It's very easy to use her. Once you get the Delphi shield, she's basically invincible. And just having that ability to like fly wherever you want and destroy whoever you want, whenever you want, it's so powerful. Um, so again, I didn't want to put her any higher because I think she's a little boring, I guess. Uh, but it is fun to have a character that just dominates the game to the sort of to the agree, degree or to the extent that uh, that Melody does. So I do think she belongs at number five. Um, I almost had her higher, but I think there's some more sort of fun picks uh, coming out. All right, and coming in at number four, I have sort of cheated here a little bit uh, because as you can see, there are two different units on screen. This number four actually encompasses a whole bunch of units. You could put like geese or dorothy or you know a bunch of other units um in this category wendy and sophia i think are the best examples of this so i have those two on screen and this is mostly about them but basically number four is dedicated to a whole bunch of really bad units that are really fun to use mostly because they're so bad and getting any kind of combat out of them is just really fun like 
it's fun to use a really strong Sophia or Wendy as a general or a druid. It just is. Uh, but number one, I didn't want to put all of these crappy units, you know, strewn throughout the top five list. Uh, maybe only Wendy and Sophia should be on here. Maybe they could be two different numbers, but, uh, and number two, I didn't want to make them any higher. And I consider not even putting them in the top five because as fun as they are just like as a novelty for when you actually get to use them for some decent combat, they are so frustrating to train because their stats are terrible and the hit rates in this game are awful. Uh, if you train Sophia, get ready to watch Flux miss again and again and again. And that's not fun. Not fun at all. Um, but it is kind of cool. Again, it's sort of novel to watch Sophia like Apocalypse Manikeets in the endgame. It's just cool. And that, and that is fun uh, in and of itself. So these are sort of like novelty picks, I would say. Um, there's sort of, there's a really high upside, I would say. Uh, because again, it is just really fun to watch Wendy actually do stuff, considering what a meme she is. But there's a huge downside too, which is you have to go through all the frustration um, of training them. So number four is basically dedicated to all the just awful units in this game uh, that it's sort of fun once they actually get to be able to do some combat, but have a lot of frustrations tied to them uh, before getting there. Coming in at number three, I have Gonzalez, who I think is a really easy number three, potentially can even be higher. Um, I don't have him higher because I think there's also a little bit of frustration with him, but Gonzalez is awesome mostly just because he's the only brigand that you can get in the gba games his stats are such that he hits so hard he's always swinging for the fences the the brigand like um animation is such that like they're always just putting their full force in everything it's a lot like a fighter but gonzalez has the like almost cap strength off base he just hits so hard even if he misses a lot um there is a frustration with him i would say with just his misses but i think it, it's really synergistic with his character this idea of like this sort of unrefined just going for it on every attack a lot of them miss but when he hits oh boy is it hard um and again i think he's just really fun because brigands are really fun berserkers are sweet even if there's other berserkers in the gba games but he's the only brigand you get he has purple pants i don't know why he doesn't have purple pants and like his sprites and stuff i find that kind of disappointing but he's just he's such a like i guess sort of unique character and and just i don't know i think he's a lot of fun to use I know I kind of shit on him on the channel, I guess, for, for lack of a better word. Um, talking about how he's not that good because he's inconsistent. And I do stand by that. But he is hella fun to use. Uh, I would probably recommend training him in, in Fire Emblem 6 because he's just, he just swings for the fences every time, man. And he's able to deal so much damage. His stats, I didn't really mention his stats that much other than his cap strength. But my man with Harbor Bonuses has like over 40 health it's like a level five unit like again that's not actually that good but it's so sweet like i don't know he just has so much cool stuff going on um i find it hard to not put him on this list coming in at number two we have a character that i sort of alluded to earlier with fur and i think probably pretty obviously is going to be on this list and that is of course rucker um so also sort of a boring pick with melody because part of the reason he's on this list is just because he's so strong uh, and he really is, but Rucker gives you something that not a lot of other games have, which is like a reason to train a Swordmaster. Swordmaster is just awesome. Their animation, at least in my opinion, is really cool, especially in the GBA games. Their crits are awesome. You get to see their crit a ton. Having a unit that you just get to see their crit more of is sweet. I didn't mention this with Gonzalez, but Berserker also, you get to see their crit more. I don't think um, Berserker crit is quite as cool as Swordmaster crit, but uh, it's still pretty sweet. And... Yeah, Rucker is just super cool. And again, there, there's a reason to train him. It's not like Guy or Joshua where you have some frustration with their lack of tier range. Uh, Rucker is just an awesome unit. And I do think he's more fun to use than Fur just because he's so much easier to use. Um, but you can make the argument that those two should be flipped. I don't know. But again, I think it's pretty obvious for Rucker to just be on here. He's an awesome unit and just a lot of fun to use. He's, he's a sweet character. And finally, coming in at number one, I have a character that people probably didn't expect to be my number one uh and that is lalina so uh, i really like lalina lena is not a very good character in the game but lalina is number one for one reason and one reason only and that is she is a goddamn nuke she is so strong her magic is so high and i know i don't mention supports a ton on this channel but in conjunction with voice support her hit rate and her damage are so hi it's just i don't know you don't get to use a lot of these units i would say at least in the gba games i know in more modern fire emblems there's characters like lysithia for example who's just like a glass cannon but lalina is like the og maybe there's somebody before lalina but 
to me Lelina is like unique in the GBA games uh, especially with that Roy support and just so much fun to use um, I actually had a conversation recently with somebody about whether Lelina or Lou is better and I 100% stand by the fact that Lou is way better than Lelina but a lot of this guy's points regarding like her high magic and her support with Roy totally accurate if you want to train and build all that stuff she's so much fun to use and the thing that's so sweet about Lelina is that in Sakae specifically some of the most annoying bosses in the entire game Lelina absolutely destroys Gel is a great example of a boss that I think is historically kind of known as really frustrating because he has so much avoid, he's so fast. Lena doesn't give a shit, man. Like, especially with Roy support, that light brain can't do anything to her. She hits like an absolute truck, and her hit rate is so good with that Roy support. So, like, it's just so much fun to watch her destroy people. Lou is also a lot of fun to use, uh, but Lou is just better. Like, Lou's boring. Lena, she just hits so hard. Um, I also actually kind of like the fact that she's more of a glass cannon. Her, like, extremely low health and low defense make her a much worse character than characters like Lou or, or some other mages and sages. But I actually think they kind of, like, make her more fun because she is absolutely a glass cannon. And again, at least in my experience with Fire Emblem, you don't get to use glass cannons to this extent all the time. Um, Talina is, is probably my favorite character to use in the game. I just love watching her absolutely massacre people. Um... So yeah, I, easy number one for me with Lena. I absolutely love her. I love training her. Um, so yeah, that is the end of the list today. Uh, again, as I said at the beginning, it's very subjective. So if you agree, if you disagree, feel free to post down below. Um, I'm really curious to know what other people find fun in the game, what other people like, those sorts of things. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, consider uh, subscribing. It really helps me out. And yeah, thanks everybody for watching as always. And I will see you in the next one.